How's it going everyone? It's Liam Caddison here with episode number 8 of Orphan Black, which is Entangled Bank. So, yeah, I'm really, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how things, you know, go in the final few episodes of season 1, which has been a pretty, pretty interesting one, uh, dragging me into um, cl this clone malarkey and everything that's going on with the clones, with their, you know, creators slash monitors slash people who... Um, are, uh, I guess, superiors. Um, yeah, everything going on in Season 1 of Orphan Black has just been really, really great stuff, and it's going to be very, very interesting to delve further into that, considering how Olive Olivier, I keep calling him Oliver, just because it's like Oliver Olivier, but um, yes, still, Olivier basically got his butt whooped uh, in the last episode. Not only did, you know, he seemed to have the advantage on Paul until it slipped away, um, and now Paul looks like he's joined Team Clones, which is Woo, woo. Um, but also he's got his tail chopped off, which, uh, his modded tail, of course, uh, which is still really, really eerie. But, um, yeah, got that chopped off and, uh, that wasn't pleasant. Um, it's interesting how, you know, the modifications as well, um, still, you know, I, it's connected to, to pain as well. So it's not like, oh, okay. Uh, you'd think that, you know, augmented, uh, implants, I guess. I guess? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, but you'd think something like that maybe might not as hurt much, but it definitely did for him. Uh, Kazima getting a bit reckless as well in the last episode, saying, oh, we want to get close. If you're going to get past these monitors, then you have to get close to them. Of course, help talking about Delphine. But not only that, uh, about reckless, she was... Uh, also saying, well, maybe Olivier should know everything. So, uh, yeah. A bit reckless, but, you know, scientists do take risks. Um, but yes, it was an awesome episode last time out. It's been really, really incredible episodes. I've been really, really intrigued. And there's, like this, like I said, this mystique keeps me on edge. So I'm really, really enjoying Orphan Black at the minute. But yes, episode number eight, Entangled Bank. Let's go. Really? I just came to water the plant. Well, letters certainly. Hey, has anyone ever met a letter that looks like a plant? Hey, hey, hey. It's to me. What if I said about answering the door on your own? Only when we invite someone? Uh huh. And we have not, have we? You could have. Go to your room. Uh oh. Quick. Oh, is this art? Because he said he was making a house call. Ivory Tower. This all happened because you got the science wrong. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yes, you oh. did. Okay. They knew I wasn't Beth from the medical tests. You said our DNA was identical. It is. Then yeah, how come they are? Who's daddy side are you on, Kasima? Well, hang up. We got freaky leaky. <laughs> freaky leaky. God, I get good. Kasima drank the purple Kool Aid. Well, yeah, she did. I know you're in pain. So I won't but why is she snooping around her letters? I won't abandon you. Unless she's just a nosy bitch. She won't abandon. Ooh, that sounds like something a monitor would say. I thought he was asleep. Closer. Thing is the. She made a pass at me, Aldous. Yeah, she made. She uh, is monitoring. Cosima's safety is at stake. Other subjects too. I need to know which ones she's in contact with. Oh no. Wait, oh she wait, is she wearing mommy? Is she wearing Sarah's coat? Eee. Does the name Sarah Manning mean anything to you? Yes, what it does. This? You've never seen her before? She's uh, giving a convincing... Uh, yeah, yeah, in a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, I guess people have lookalikes. Yeah. But then again, yeah. I mean, like I said, she could have one of those things. I need to lawyer up here. I don't know, Beth. Do you? I mean, I'm, I was, I'm wondering with all the conspicuous actions that she's taken as well, like as Beth. Haven't they got to suspect something? Forensics run her prints as fast as possible. Oh, yeah. sugar, sugar! I'm not the one in a compromising position here, Ball. 
Well, you certainly look like it. You blackmail the next man. And isn't it funny? He's got to do your dirty work. Olivier Duval. I think the ball is in his car. That's a classy synonym, bro. Mm. Isn't it funny how he's in the compromising position, whereas Paul was in the last episode? Now the yeah, how the table's Kevin. turned. You're from Wenatchee, Washington. Oh? You have a raft of unsavory sex wants. The organization knows that. Damn, he's dug it. Yeah, but the police don't. And that Bet you could bounce me like a ball. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Maybe that too much. Yeah. Mm. Oh God. So you oh. haven't had enough. Um. What are we doing here? I'm a this is you sexually to get back at Donnie. I should. Really and stick it to Ainsley. Not bad way. Maybe you enjoyed it. Like, Maybe you are attracted. I've never thought about bisexuality. I mean. For myself, you know, discovering new things. I know that sexuality is a, is, a, is a spectrum, but you know, social biases they they codify attraction. It's contrary to the biological facts. You know? I wonder if she's got actual affection, okay, right. but still has to monitor. Like, <laughs> like I guess Paul with well, Paul and Beth with totally it. <laughs> Gonna happen again. Here we go. Well, Kazima's having. What the f? Oh my god! Oh my god! The kids! In the end zone. Oh god! I've got no words. Tomorrow I will change, and today won't mean a thing. I'm a bitch. I'm a lover. Coming from a backstabbing psycho slap like you. Slap. Oh, jam it, fingers. Oh, I was gonna say jam. Oh, here we go. Big fight. Get oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's on. Go on, Ali. Go on, Ali. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Super Valley. Don't mess with her. Do not mess with Ali. <laughs> Unless she's smart and put some cameras on, she's gonna snoop. This is what I'm worried about, and you're just letting her do this. Oh boy. This is what I was worried about, like when she went out. Oh, damn it. Oh boy. Katia Obinger. Yes. Elena. Uh, yeah, what's, oh, what they, oh, are they, is, uh-oh, anything else on her, oh, I was gonna say, with that talk with Olivier, talking about Helena, isn't something not going to, oh, this could be bad, oh, has she brought Ali, she has, this is Alison Hendricks, <laughs> Ali, Ali's just like wondering what the hell's now. Oh god, so here we go. She wants. <laughs> like, woo! Tell me more, love. And then I got married. And everything is shit. <laughs> I want to give Ali a hug, but I don't. Oh, uh, she's clicked on. I knew something was up. Yeah. She clicked on. Crazy one. Helena was after me. Okay, so Helena, Alison, Cosima, Cosima, Katya's dead. Dead one. Yeah. Who talked? Oh. Yeah. Oh, Mrs. S is involved. I love it. I love it. Talk about Beth. Then he hangs up. Oh. Let's bring him in. Let's shake his tree, man. No, it's too early. I want to get a better picture of this whole deal first. Oh, so he's just, oh, so he's even more suspicious, especially analyzing the pictures. Oh. Oh, and Dr. Leakey sends his regards. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. I guess that's Leakey saying you're fired. 
Ooh. He sends his regards, Lannister style. Another oh, oh. me up. There were Unless she died, mind. unless her mother died. Yeah. That some of the kids we were hiding, the ones that came in Carlton's pipeline, like you, children in the black. What do you mean exactly in the black? Orphan the black. Undocumented, outside the system. Rumor was these kids were the subjects of medical experiments. And they had to ha oh. Do your contacts still know him? We're I definitely gonna see Carl Yeah, we're definitely gonna see Carlton. Can you get in touch with him? To so get closer to the truth. Last I heard he, he was in Wormwood Scrubs prison. I'll try. Damn it, Carlton. Oh! Oh! Creepy Helena is creepy. And she's so obsessed with Kira, Helena. Oh boy. Oh. Kira? Oh damn. Helena, it's what? Helena, Kira! Oh shit. Kira! Oh damn, Kira! there we go. Kira? Helena? Yes, Angel? What happened to you? <sighs> A lot of crazy shit. Oh, damn, this is bad. This is really concerning as well for Sa for Sarah's sake. Oh, shh. I'm... <sighs> okay, what the fudge? Good night, Angel. She's accepting her. Oh, shit, she's going on the one... Oh shit! Oh shit! No! What the? F oh, what? The oh no! Holy shit! That was tr oh my god! And you just saw her being knocked down like it was horrible. Oh my god! Please don't, I mean, she's only a small band as well, and, oh, God. I hope she, I, I don't even know if she survived that or whatever, but. Holy shit. And Helena's gonna, I mean, you saw Helena, yeah, she feels like shit there. I don't want to talk about that, I mean. Kira resonated with Helena. And she said, you're just like mommy. Um, but she didn't, she didn't click on with Ali. She, she was, I mean, yeah, you would be appalled. I'm wondering if she, if, I don't know, Kira has this connection with the clones. Like, she, like, I mean, she is the daughter of a clone, so she might have this hive of networks to who she associates to clones, being the offspring. Yeah. Um, like, not like a superpower, but she has that sense. She has that sense, um, as if she is aware, cons considering, you know, there's multiple people like her mother. So she has this, like, thing going on inside of her where she can instantly detect, like, uh, she, she said to Helena, you're just like, mommy, Ali, you're not my mother. Like, she, like, she was super convinced, like, she, she's a child, but she saw through Ali's disguise. And then Helena's got this connection, and she's so so fragile with Hel with uh, Kira. I'm wondering if there's if that connection that she has with Sarah, because Helena has a certain connection with with Sarah. I'm wondering if they are related somehow. Like obviously the clones are related to each other, but like they are more related. Like they are siblings or something. Like. Um, I don't know. They are literally twins because we had this discussion about, oh, like, of course, um, in the art situation, I mean, there's this talk, well, is, you know, is this Sarah or whatever, a twin, a sister or whatever? And I'm going back to, I'm going to a series of mine, Metal Gear, uh, a, a game that I, a franchise that I loved to death. And, uh, there was a clone there, uh, Snake. And he had a twin brother who was a complete psycho like well, he wasn't as psychotic, but um yeah, he had a twin brother called Liquid. 
as well as another clone. Um, so, yeah, I'm going back to that. So, wait. Would... I don't know. I have no idea if they are, like, related, more related, they are twins or whatever. Um, because we're still in the dark about, you know, Sarah's past. And we're, we're on this journey about, like, Sarah's identity. Uh, for the last couple of episodes, she's been so adamant on what's, what the hell happened to, uh, like, she's been so adamant on her origins. And I'm wondering if Helena is a special key to that, considering she's got this, you know, she's so fragile over, uh, Kira. And I take Helena as this kind of character who would just go off the rails, like, a kid, no problem for her. Um... Especially if this cult is influencing her to take out the devils, or the clones, uh, and she's the spawn of the devil, you know. Um, she she would usually have no problem, but, you know, she's, she's uh, after, you know, Thomas gave that warning, you know, kill Sarah. K uh, Helena, you know, we saw in the last episode, she, she basically gave her a chance to save her skin. Otherwise, she would kill her. She gave her that chance. Otherwise, I think she would have done it. Um, and, like I said, she's got that connection with... Like, she, it seems like she's got that... She's fragile to Kira. And then you've got uh, Kira, who is, you know, who is, you know, okay with Helena. Even though she's like... Ugh. But... Ali was like that, nah. so I'm wondering if the like if their connection is more bonded. Like she 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 is literally a part of her, not just the cloning uh, thing, like a twin, because you, you know twins are more like like in the human world. Of course, there's no cl well, not that we know of. <laughs> um, um, but if there's any signs of a doppelganger or whatever. Uh, if there's anything similar, it will be twins or anything. So that's what I'm saying. Like, unless cloning does become legal, which it probably never will. And and I'm hoping now because I want to clone... No, I, I'm kidding. One one is bad enough for me. But, um, yeah, if uh, in the real world, the, uh, the um, in my eyes, the more likely way to have a legit doppelganger, I guess, is a twin because you're... You you basically grew in the womb together, so who and and you know if you grew in the womb, you you can share that connection. So that's why Helena has that special connection to Sarah. Who I'm wondering, I'm I'm theorizing because she's got this connection, and Kira's like Helena. I'm good with Ali, and then there's Sarah, and then there's um Finny who's so fragile. There's that obvious connection that's been teased. It has to be a twin or something. I don't know, but yeah, that was that was really really good, especially Art's side of the story. I mean, he's gonna. It's probably gonna be next episode. I I don't see them dragging. I don't know about the show, uh, but they're not. Well, from the fact that Mrs. S knows about the clones now, um, I don't see them dragging out this Art situation any longer. Um until episode 9 or 10 or whatever. Um, but by the start of season 2, he's definitely going to know about the clones stuff, because, uh, of course, that's been the biggest mystery concerning Art's character, uh, especially with Beth around. So, um, like, because, of course, uh, you know, we had Sarah parade as Beth, and, you know, there was things that looked a bit off, and now the case is picked back up now that we've got a match that was Sarah, so, um, he's gonna know at some capacity, and of course, he was trying to test out Felix as well, um, so, yeah, I think Felix played it cool, played it cool, but, um, yeah, it, I, I really loved the, that bit as well about the whole, uh, Mrs. S., Getting to know about the clo uh, clones. I I mean, I thought it would happen a lot sooner. Like, well, not sooner, but later, rather. Because um, I'm just thinking, um, you know, how... Oh, and I'm just thinking as well with that car accident uh, and the fact that these clones exist, it's it's going to have more restraint f uh, for Mrs. S to keep a hold of Kira. Uh, of course, Sarah's journey is, you know, for herself, Felix, and... Um, Kira to, you know, have a nice family where she's trying to get that, you know, custody over Kira. 
it's not happening with that accident unless Kira just stands up and like <laughs> I, I'm hoping that I'm just hoping that because I don't want that child to die if that child dies I'm going to have my heart broken um, but um, yeah it's going to Mrs. S is going to be like Especially with the, I mean, clones are dangerous. Helena's dangerous as well from Sarah's comments. So it's going to be a complete meltdown with Mrs. S. But as I was saying, I really loved the um, talk with um, you know Mrs. S and more intrigue over the whole um, you know backstory because we had that bit of backstory in the last episode and we got a bit more intrigue after you know the revelation about clones came out and uh, Mrs. S was like, oh, so, well, rumor has it, you know. Uh, children in the black part of medical um, experiments. Yeah, um, it's it's getting more juicy, and I'm suspecting in the season two, because we've got two episodes left, and and they're gonna want to pace this out really, really well. Um, by season two, we're gonna find out. You know, we're gonna go more deeper into the origin. So that's what I'm suspecting. Um, Olivier dying. Pretty, pretty shit stuff. I, I guess Leaky was, I, I guess, disappointed in everything that went down with the whole cloning situation. And I think Leaky wants a better handle on it than Olivier did. So, um, yeah, just kill him off. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it was pretty, pretty interesting to see Paul, you know, t be like, like I said in, in the episode, it's funny how Paul was the one who, who was in a compromising position in the last episode being all tied up. And, uh, now, and, and plus the fact that he was, um, that Olivier was the, um, not the monitor, the, uh, uh supervisor, superior, whatever, to, um, Paul. So. It was interesting how Paul had the higher ground in this episode uh, before he was killed off. Um, going on to the leaky part as well, Kasima. Oh, I just want I just want a headbang because now we've gotten. I mean, it it I it could be it, it was a mistake for me because um, Delphine. I mean, she's obviously of course she uh, is the monitor for. Kasima, but it could be even more dangerous, especially like let's say they go after Kira. Um, like it, it's going to be even more dangerous. And uh, well, here's the thing: like they know, uh, they now know Kasima is in contact with Sarah, so uh, that's going to be even more dangerous. And you know, it's going to continue the little bit of spit spat we've got between. Um, Kasima and Sarah at the minute because Sarah's suggesting do it this way and Kasima's like nah so um I mean she's she's trying to get in closer as well that's the thing she's trying to get close and but I think she's a bit I don't know the way I'm seeing it she's uh, I think they are both um warped into this real sensation of love uh Kasima and Delphine because I'm thinking Delphine truly has you know feelings but is playing this, you know, spy role. Uh, Kasima, I mean, she obviously made the move on uh, Delphine, so she obviously does have some legit feeling, but um, she's got to get a handle on the fact that um, Delphine is more than just a lover, so... Ooh, um, I can't get over that ending. I'm just hoping that, um, that Kira does, you know, not die. It was, it's not, it, I mean, the way she just went down and the fact that she's only a, a kid as well, ugh, uh, it was a speeding, it, well, it wasn't a speeding car like some idiot driver, but uh, he just, boom, so, yeah, but, uh, yeah, very, very intriguing, especially the side story, it's all coming together nicely, oh, I loved Ali as well, Ali was just absolutely nuts on the weed, um, Especially, uh, especially the little fact, uh, the little fight. So I'm guessing the little fight. Um, here's the thing: if you were a monitor and you were screwing, you know, the husband, I, I, I think she would have taken that lightly because she doesn't want to lose touch of um, her who she's monitoring, and yet she had that fight. So I'm guessing that Ainsley is not the monitor. 
So who is? I'm thinking it's uh, yeah, it's it's Donnie, obviously. I mean, that story is probably a sob story about. I mean, it, well, it could be true, but he's trying to convince you know um, Ali that he's not the monitor, and you know that he's compl he's a completely hopeless husband. So, um, but. Yeah, it was still it was still a classic, wasn't it? That like little scrap between Ainsley and uh, <laughs> Ali, Ali, you know, high up and uh, absolute like sh like she's dangerous already, but she's out of control, uh, especially weeded up. But um, yeah, this was a really it was really good, and um, I'm just hoping Kira does make it. Uh, Leaky seems to have a handle now on this whole operation. It's not a, a joint cooperation between Leaky and Olivier now that Leaky ordered the death of um, Olivier. So uh, it'll be very, very interesting. I, I always, I mean, I know we've only got to know these uh, characters a couple of episodes, but I do think Leaky's the more sinister approach. Especially, I mean, Olivier seems like a seems like a generic shifty guy, but with Leaky, he has more going on with the neo Lucian shit going on, and the fact that uh, he's so close to Delphine, who is monitoring Kazima, so um, I, I do think there's more intrigue behind Leaky, so Olivier is just, an, I, I don't I don't really see much in him, apart. I mean, he was close to Paul, of course, because um, of course we had those exchanges, but there's a romantic relationship going on between... There seems to be some kind of romance going on between uh, between Leaky and Delphine. Whereas Paul uh, was on a leash to Olivier. So um, there there is a more... There is a more brutal connection between Olivier and Paul. Um, and not just that, but like I said, there's that Neolution stuff going on. So, which is going to be become more of a bigger deal, I think. Especially especially the fact that, you know, there's this argument. Is it right? I mean, just augment yourself. Uh, is it part of... Like, should it be a part of humanity? So, um, yeah, there's definitely more intrigue behind Lick, and I, I'm excited to see how that expands. But, yeah! Frantic times for Orphan Black, and, uh... Can't wait to see what happens next. So until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!